morning everyone today I'm gonna do a tour and walkthrough of our minimalist master bedroom now why is it minimalist because this is a retreat and a space that I don't want to be overwhelmed in after long days of working homeschooling cooking cleaning and all of that I want a place where I can relax now for some people having more in your room may do that for you but clutter creates anxiety for me and so I'm gonna give you a tour of our minimalist bedroom as well as our minimalist wardrobe and how it just makes getting ready simpler for our family so here's our room and yes there is a toy Barbie car on the floor because we have a two-year-old she likes to park it there that's her garage so we have a chair for my husband and I, and these are nice because when he gets ready in the morning and he wants to put his shoes on, they're helpful for us. We have these stands that sometimes clothes that um, he wants to wear the next day get set on, or a jewelry box now and then, and then we have a TV in our room. Now this wall is pretty blank, doesn't have a lot of decoration. The only thing we have hanging in our room is this funny caricature picture of my husband and I when we first met back in 2009 and so that's the first half of our room now I'll show you the other half for us these clean surfaces with not a lot on them it's relaxing when I see things stacked up everywhere oh it stresses me out and then another, you know another thing people are like for or against is a tv in the bedroom we have a tv in our room for many reasons because I dislike sports and football and my husband likes them. So if he's watching football in the living room, I will typically watch something that I like in the room that are sometimes I'll put Bible studies on the TV or something for my kids if I need them to be out of another room while I'm cleaning. So on this side, we have our curtains, just clean, cool colors, and then we have my exercise bike. On this side of the room, we have a hamper and this serves purpose for our whole family. So we have a basket for my husband and I for the girls and then one for and then we have a dirty mirror, our only mirror in here. Nice to be able to see our outfits. And then on this side, we have our bed and our nightstands. Now, because we are a family that lives on a budget, we just have plastic bins for our nightstand. And my husband and I are content with that. Our wall, if you notice, is missing some baseboard and has some discoloration. That is because there used to be a closet there that we cut down and we put drywall up. We just haven't finished plastering it. Um, plaster, this is the first time for us doing it. So it needs a fin finishing coat and to be painted. It's just not something we've had time for. However, once we do finish it, right above our bed, we'll take that little letter C and put it there. The extent of the decoration that I want in my room. I want a peaceful, quiet place that brings me peace and allows me to relax. And then these are our closet doors. And let me show you what's inside. So it's not perfectly clean or organized or anything, but it is minimalist. So we have my two-year-old's clothes baskets in here because when they were in her room, they made a mess. She would just get clothes everywhere. So this is my side of the closet. I have a bit more than my husband um, because I like to wear dresses to church. So I have got a lot right there, maybe 30 outfits in total, or not outfits, pieces of clothing, including my pajama shirts, and it's not very organized. And then this is my husband's side, and he has very little, maybe 20 shirts and including work shirts. So years ago, when my husband and I first got married, we had many, 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 many pieces of clothing, and I would thrift shop and get lots of stuff. And you just realize you don't wear it. So pretty much all we keep is the things that we like the way they fit our bodies and or things that we really enjoy wearing and we wear regularly regularly shelf in our closet that's been damaged over the years but it holds Madeline's clothes and then anytime my kids have empty hangers they go here and then we use this for beanies hats and some of Madeline's pants and then my husband has a hamper just for work shirts so we keep it very simple it keeps it easier to put things away and it keeps my kids clothes off the floor which is a really big deal because at two she loves to play little fashionista diva and try on all the outfits she's ever owned um and years ago i wouldn't have cared but now that i have three kids and i also work in homeschool i just don't have the time or the energy to deal with those messes everywhere all the time 
So that is our bedroom. We like to keep it clean and simple. I'll keep a box of tissue and some lotion in here for my husband and I. And it honestly, it makes life very easy to keep things clean and to just have a peaceful place to come and rest. So I'd love to hear in the comments, are you a minimalist bedroom person or do you prefer to have a lot of things, a lot of decorations and colors in your room? What works for you? For me, simplicity is best. Even if some people will be like, oh, it's so plain. I really don't care because that is what brings me joy, keeps me peaceful and happy. You say hi. Yeah. Say thanks for watching. Thank you. See you next time. Thank you.